don't tell me this top is not beautiful just within 30 minutes you should be able to get or do one for yourself so you all welcome back to my channel we are making this ankara top with only two yards of fabric your you need your tape measure scissors ruler and your tailor's chalk okay we want to use all the two yards to fold so we are going to fold the fabric with the two years that is the length not the width okay the longest part is what we are going to use it to fold the fabric into two then fold again as you can see it is long so you fold it again into four the second part making four then iron it nicely iron it after ironing it the measurement you are going to use for the project is your waist your hip and the sleeve length so so input your sleeve and the measurement you are going to take the tape measure from your center back to your sleeve where you want the sleeve to be we are cutting both the back and the front together so I've I'm measuring my 26 then I want to input my shoulder measurement that is 7 inches the shoulder measurement is 7 inches and then the neck depth is 3.5 3.5 you see after this we want to move to the waist okay we we'll go down 16 inches so you measure your 16 inches 16 inches you bring out your long ruler connect it to where the sleeve length reach so here is it then divide it into two divide your sorry divide your waist measurement into four and then add uh, three inches seam allowance to it okay so look at it um 30 divided by 4 plus 3 making 10.5 then you insert your 10.5 at the waist and then the down insert your hip measurement plus 1.5 inches so your hip measurement is maybe 40 as mine you divide it you divide it by 4 then you add your 1.5 inches for seam allowance okay we use the half inch to sew and the one inch allowance so here you see where the sleeve length is okay that down part go take two inches upwards and then your waist to come down by three inches then connect from the length or the hip measurements and bring it to the sleeve where we took two inches down okay we want to cut it out we are done look at it it's simple right we are done and we want to cut it out sharp we want to now work on the neckline but before then we want to measure half inch at the shoulder measurement okay the seven inches we took then connect it down it's in the form of a shoulder slope just to open up the sleeve area so you bring out your scissors and you, you cut it I'm done cutting please you want to notch that place before we open the fabric notch that seven inches place notch it open the fabric before we open that area and then slant our neckline you see it's it's in the form of slanted form so here we want to start with the neckline so 
you decide where you want it to be slightly from, from the uh, right or the left. So we are measuring our 3.5 from the notch area, okay? And then the middle part to 3.5, as you know. Then you connect it from this place. I told you one place is lined there, so look at it. So you see, the other side of it, it's lined, okay? We didn't measure any 3.5 there. Only this part and the other part is where we measure 3.5. So cut it out. We are done. You can use bias tape to do the neckline area or you can cut a fabric for it okay which we are going to cut a fabric to make our neckline area so you fold your fabric into two since it is back and front then you put the neckline area on the fabric this way bring out your tailor's chalk and use it to mark it out follow the shape of the neckline on the fabric you want to come down and measure four inches all around bring out your scissors and cut it out We are done. So here's our two interfacing. So you just put the right side facing the right side of your top. Then you sew all around half inch. Okay. After sewing, please notch that half inch you have sewn. We want to top stitch it. So top stitch it before you flip it on the inside or the wrong part of the top. Let's go to our ironing table. I did the same for the second fabric. So we are done and we want to use this uh, small glue stiff. Okay. To insert in between the interfacing so that it will hold the fabric together and the interface will not be coming up around our neck. So I did the same thing for the back too. Bring the two fabrics together and then put the front side, okay, the right side, right side facing each other. Go and connect the shoulder to shoulder. We are done. We want to insert our elastic at the sleeve area. So let me open up the fabric. We want to insert our elastic. Okay. To determine the elastic that you want to use, we want to use the elastic to wrap up where the sleeve lengths ends and cut it, cut two, since the sleeves are two. 
then fold half inch on the sleeve length area this way and fold another one inch on top okay then you iron it nicely you want to go and sew on it after sewing bring out your safety pin the elastic that you have cut in case if you are doing for a client then you want to take the measurements okay to determine the elastic so i'm inserting it this way i'll use pins to hold the ends and ends together so that it will not come out i'm done and then the other side too i want to insert it and i'm also done so we want to now sew the side and side of the top so sew that half inch that we left at the hip area to sew it And guess what? We are done. Let me put it on the dummy for you to see. If you don't understand anything, you let me know in the comment section. If you need clarification on something, I am waiting for you in the comment section. Don't hesitate to do that. And don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. See you in our next tutorial.